everyone welcome back to my channel so I have to do this video in less than eight minutes because my mojo is going to expire in less than eight minutes okay so for those of you who don't know me I am a real estate agent here in Philadelphia and it is my second year in the business so my channel I basically share tips and tricks that can help new agent to grow their business and in today's video we're going to talk about how to handle the fear of a rejection and let's get into the video fear is usually what is holding you back and accomplishing your goals in life and work so rejection it is okay but fear of rejection and letting rejection keep you being paralyzed and not being active in what you do is really scary so here i'm going to share with you guys all the tips that i have to help me accomplish my goals and to get rid of fear of rejection so I'm gonna start the video by telling you guys a story. Yesterday, I was on the phone uh, prospecting and I was on about five hours and I couldn't get any lead. There's no one who's interested in selling. So my energy was just going down and you know my mindset was like, oh my God, is this going to be a horrible day? And I was just feeling down and you know my voice started to sound like a robot. Like, are you looking to sell your house? No. And until I dialed this number, I called and I said, hey, are you interested in selling your house? And the person said no. And I automatically said, okay, would it be a few years down the road that you might be considered selling? He said no. And then I keep pushing. I said, do you know anybody who's interested in selling? At that point, I was like, screw it. He's probably going to say no. But then he said, yes. I do know someone who is interested in selling and I'm like, okay, well, can I text you my phone number? If it's okay with you, just send me his contact information. I'll shoot him a text or give him a call. So after we get off the phone, I immediately texted him. He sent me his friend. His name is Joe. He's looking to sell his single house in you know, a nice area. So I called Joe immediately. We set up appointment for tomorrow. Like the, the moral of the story is basically a mindset is really, really important. And there are a few tips and tricks that I constantly tell myself every day until this day, you know, it helps me cope with the fear of rejection. So the first is to expect it. In real estate rejection, it is super common, like track your numbers and just figure out your success rate. Like how many mo no's do you need until you can get a yes? So that way it's kind of like you are already expecting them to say no. And the more no that they say, you are getting closer for you to get a yes. And secondly is do not take it personally. So when a prospect start being really rude to you, a lot of the case is they're having a bad day. It has nothing to do with you. So don't start doubting yourself of like, why me? Why are they being rude to me? Is there something that I did that pissed them off? Like stop questioning yourself and just be like, I am a real estate professional and there's nothing wrong with what I did. I can learn from this experience because this is something that I will be doing for a lifetime and I need to get better and better. Um, number three is to change your reaction. So the moment when you are hearing about a rejection, a lot of people, they get offensive or they get angry. So always using a very relaxed posture even if you're losing a deal, don't let the prospect sense that you are getting desperate or you are upset. You know, still keep the conversation flow and keep yourself relaxed and just, you know, ease out of the conversation. Um, so change your reaction and then also don't jump into conclusions. And um, a lot of time with telephone prospecting, you ask people, you're like, oh, okay, are you interested in selling your house? The automatic response is, they're going to say no and at that time you can try to rephrase your question you can throw them another question like are you thinking about selling ever like is this the property that I am talking about it just kind of you know make them to focus on another thing instead of like are you looking to sell you can say are you looking to sell one two three main street and they're like okay well yes that's my property actually I'm not thinking about selling right now but I will consider selling it in a few years 
So that will be also another tip. Um, and number four is to virtualize before a phone call. So every time when you start a phone call or you have a meeting, always virtualize, virtualize where the meeting you wanted to uh, lead the conversation to go to. So before you enter a meeting, always virtualize, okay, I'm gonna sit down with the prospect, you know, I'm gonna lay out the steps of like how I can help him achieve his goals from moving place 1A to a second location, and how am I going to do the marketing, like what can I provide it to him, my service, so like vir virtualize of what the conversation is going and with telephone prospecting always have your script on hand and practice your objection handler and the reason being is once you are practicing the objection handler you kind of expecting where the nose are coming from so for example if you're doing a conversation you're having a conversation with a for sale by owner and they said okay well we have a family member that is also you know a real estate agent if we end up selling it we're going with our family member and at the top of your head i immediately kind of know oh my god oh my god this is going to expire yes all right immediately i already know that person's lying because if they would go with their family member to begin with why are they doing for sale by owner so you can kind of just acknowledge what they're saying, but move on with your question. You're like, okay, great, that's good to know. You're very loyal to your family, but where are you moving to? Like, what, what's your motivation? Do you want to sell it now? If I can sell it for you, I can get the property sold, I can get you, net you more money in any other way, bottom line, would you want to at least hear about it? So like, you know, just kind of know your script and just you know, acknowledge them and move on with what you are saying. So last but not least is to change your, actually there's two more. The number five is change your energy. So I think this one is super important. That is why I can never really work in my home office. I have to come to the actual office and just be surrounding myself with the working environment. I like to dress nice, my high heels. And you know, after I did my workout and then I am in a super hype energy and then I start dialing and calling people and just you know that's kind of how I like my days to go I don't like laying on the couch with my PJ and call people I just it doesn't give me a good energy it doesn't give me a positive vibe uh, that's just me but especially if you're going to do a listing presentation make sure that you you know clap your hands if your listing presentation is like 7 p.m. in the evening you probably your energy level is super low then you can just like go do a jumping jack for like 10 minutes and get your blood flow and it will definitely help you to feel a lot better before you go into that listing appointment so last but not least is to have a massive unstoppable goals so always be tracked with your numbers and how many transactions that you wanted to, to achieve this year and break it down to monthly goals and break it down to weekly goals and daily goals so for me personally my weekly goals is I want to be able to schedule five pre-qualified listing appointments per week and I want to get one listing per week and that leads to how many hours I need to stay on the phone and I found out that the most effective way is to stay on the phone for at least six to seven hours per day I know it's it sound really insane for most of the people but like I basically have no life and that's just kind of how I want my days to go because I know those hours that I put into I know how many of those you know hours and the people that I talk to I know how many people I need to talk to in order to turn that into a sale I know that and I have done it so I'm really obsessed with getting on the phone and talk to people voice to voice you know have a real conversation I'm all about that so here are the seven tips that I give you to you all to uh, get rid of the fear of rejection and I hope you guys can really learn a lot of things from my video uh, this is Luna over here thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next one